And here is, here's a lesion that's a nodule down in the deep dermis, relatively circumscribed, and it's got cystic spaces and lots of papillary structures folding into the middle of the cystic spaces. And if you look closer at the lining cells, you'll again see that kind of same thing that we saw in scap. I think there's a lot of overlapping between this lesion and, and syringocystadenoma. Um, and you'll have the inner uh, columnar layer with little apical tufts or snouts. You'll have, have an outer um, basaloid uh, layer that's usually got myoepithelial differentiation. So what's this lesion probably? Yeah, hydradenoma papilliform, the happy pappy, as again, my derm residents teach me all of the most awesome and, and sometimes inappropriate ways to remember things. So. Um, anyway, so I give them credit and blame for all of the things I'm teaching you. I'm just kidding. And not only future, so no one's incriminated. Future and or past Durham residents have taught me these things. All right. Hydradenoma papilliform is almost always in the vulva. A couple other things that can look kind of like this. If you're on the nipple and you see papillomatous stuff that's growing in cystic, think about nipple adenoma, okay? And depending on whether that's small and localized to the skin or deeper and involving the ductal structures of the breast, um, intraductal papillomas can have very similar features too. If you see something on the hands or fingers or toes that looks like this or looks like scap, what is it until proven otherwise? Yeah, digital papillary adenocarcinoma, which used to be called aggressive digital. People have suggested we drop the aggressive name because it's, I mean, it's carcinoma metastasizes in like 20 or 30%, but it's not, it's not like it kills 90% of people. So it's not much more aggressive than other regular carcinomas, I guess. Anyway, so if you see papillary structures in, a, in an epithelial lesion on the hands or feet, you've got to exclude digital papillary adenocarcinoma. They don't always have cytologic atypia. In fact, I feel they more often don't have it than do. And they really otherwise would look benign and yet they can still metastasize. Real important not to miss that. I, I was giving a talk a couple years ago and right the day before I gave a talk, some lawyer called me and wanted me to testify on a lawsuit on a patient got a misdiagnosis and then got a met and I was like, um, no, I'm not rolling to that, but thank you for the offer. But it was great to scare the crap out of the people I was about to give my lecture to. So yeah, just yesterday, someone called me about a misdiagnosis of this, and they're suing someone. It's, uh, so it's just real important to know because not, it doesn't necessarily look malignant. Just keep that in mind. Any adnexal tumor on the hands and feet, always think about that, especially if you see papillae. Real important. Okay, but this is okay. This is hydradenone papilliferum. We're fine. <laughs> 